Welcome back. We've got some work to do today. Uh, I guess our first step is get these trees brought up here and processed. And then I'd like to get those trees down off that hill and uh, get those processed and see what our stacks look like at that point. So let me go ahead and get started and I'll get back with you. Well, you know, just a few dozen more hours running this equipment and we'll be smooth as silk. It's definitely, it definitely takes a bit getting used to them again, that's for sure. Uh, so we have a couple of trees here. One, two, three, four, five trees. Let's take these down. It definitely seems easier to process one at a time. So I think I'm going to cut them all down, drag them down, process one at a time, drag, process, drag, process. Just because, yeah, that seems to be the easiest way to do it. I don't know, we'll find out. We can probably cut all of them at once, though. Get them all cut, ready to drag. Timber! Oh, she's going down the hill. Almost lost that one in the drink. I was worried about that. No, I think we have plenty of room. I think I can lay these down without losing them down the hill. We're going to try because I'm going to try to take them down that side and bring them up so that they're in the right order for processing. So I'll go ahead and get this done and then we'll see what we're doing after that.
I think we're gonna end up making this our equipment yard up here. We flatten this out and make a probably connect it over there to the driveway and down here to this end of the yard. And that'll that'll make a good little equipment yard to keep it out of our way. Alright, so that's those trees cleared. That hill looks naked now. I think we're going to sell our eight meter logs. See what we get. Should we sell the tens? You know what? Let's sell the tens. Let's sell both both of the tens. We'll load up the uh, the thicker ones first. And then we'll load the thin ones. And we'll go sell all of that. Because I really want a yarder. Because um, we are going to need better equipment. Stat. This is... It's a fine process, but boy, is this a long process. Oh, come on, go the other way. I'm gonna need you to get a little closer than that. There we go. We'll get on that line, and then pull forward. Uh, yeah, something about right there. Why not? All right, I'll load these all up. And go sell them and we'll see what we get. How much was that yarder? It was like 50,000 something, isn't it? 50, 60,000. Uh, 95. Oh, yeah, it's way more expensive than I thought. Ooh, what we could do, do though is uh, maybe next episode, maybe we'll lease the yarder because I have to lease to own. So we would be making payments on it every month and eventually it would be ours. That might be a thing to do. So, we're going to go sell this, and then, yeah, I think that's what we'll do next time. We'll lease that yarder, and we'll figure out how to use it, because I think we must own part of that hill. And we'll be able to... Don't do that. We'll be able to go not just up and down hills with it. Oh... Uh, Kind of the direction. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we must own some of that hill directly in front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all hill right here. And then this is downhill to the river. But not only can you go up and downhill with it, but you can also go laterally with something like this. I bet we could set it up to do that. Or even if it was flat ground, we could run it. Bring logs here, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead, get these loaded up, and get them sold, and then I'll see you. sell this we got fourteen thousand three hundred and twenty five dollars not bad we still have the six meter logs and the eight meter logs but i want to i want to get like a full truck of those before we sell them because that's that's the big wood you know the thick stuff and so i want to see what we can actually make with a full truckload of that um what we may end up needing to do is getting a uh a sawmill at some point get ourselves a sawmill so we can turn our logs into something a little more profitable but yeah we're gonna call that it for today thank you so much for watching I appreciate you being here uh, I did learn that maybe I shouldn't go full throttle all the time in the uh, in the Massey Ferguson there that might help me smooth it out a little bit but 
I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.